Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Galtuba. I'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you. This reading is April 2023. Yes, it's a new month, it's a new prediction, new messages, and also to all of you, um, happy spring season. We are entering into a spring season, and there's a lot of astrological um, transits happening right now. On the sky okay in astrology so there is definitely big shifts are coming i can already feel it for collective okay and i think you can also feel it i already did for um you know saturn transits now next i'm gonna do the for aquarius that's moving into pluto we will also talk about that because it's a big thing okay and i think it will be stay there in like the 20 years because uh, pluto definitely um it does not move easily it's like it's been definitely being there in a in Aquarius so it's like you can say that we are entering into the age of Aquarius in revolution evolution changes big shifts um, something like a big shifts coming in also into like you can see that the worldwide but also you're going to see the big the biggest growth are, are huge changes in people and personal and individually also that people are definitely going to do whatever they want to do um, so the, the, yeah there's a lot of things are happening we will talk about in astrology uh, thing I think I will talk about it make another video so um and also the people who are celebrating ramzan a happy ramzan to all of you to all the muslims in the world or anywhere if you are in the world and you're celebrating it then i hope that this month really bring you a lot of blessings and please remember me and my family in your prayers too i really appreciate that and i know that a lot of you are already um with, with me it doesn't matter whatever your religion culture are because this channel is open for everyone and anything okay so don't fix on that and if someone is definitely because i'm seeing that there's a lot of you know i am used to be uh used to of hate and and getting this all uh, you know <laughs> trolling and hate I, I don't care about this i don't care about this anymore but don't use my channel for these things like you know to make the political topic or make the you know religious topic uh and anything to discuss here because now we are just freeing in doing here the readings here we are just connecting with the energies and we are all one doesn't matter wherever you are from the world on this channel you're one okay so that's that's i want to tell you right now okay so let's start the reading you have a three groups in front of you choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you we will do the live shuffling oracles card um, and tarot to see basically what this uh, april 2023 is bringing in your life um let's say emotionally mentally spiritually financially and also romantically um anybody can watch this reading even though if you're in a single relationship or you're waiting for something i don't know what will come in your reading because this is going to be a life but always remember that th that i start my reading i told you this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the red rest if something is not resonating if something that you feel like um is, is not for you then please this channel this reading is not for you go out and have and watch those things that's really mean for you and you really connect with those people so i really appreciate that i i definitely not here to you know to force anyone to be here you know to just stay here no it's okay if you want to leave you you can leave if you're connecting with me most welcome on this channel but if you feel like something is not for you something is not for this because i'm seeing that recently it's happening on my channel and also i'm seeing a lot of things that people are suggesting me do that do that please I just guide you to do whatever I want to do. This is my channel. I'm going to do whatever I want to do and I'm guided to do it. Okay, so don't dictate me or don't give me the orders on this channel, especially for those people who are coming recently on my channel, because the people who are already subscribed, they know what I'm talking about. They know how I deal with things. They know how my personality is. Okay, so I, I'm going to do whatever I want to do and I feel and guide you to do it. Okay, if you are going to be you know, like force me and do things, that's why I'm just... I cannot, you know, open the even comments here because I can see that there's a obviously there's a lot of spams here, but also at the same time, there is a lot of things here. You know, I cannot, I don't have an energy or deal to with this because I also need to protect my energy. Okay, so I'm definitely going to stand up for myself. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're saying. If you are not connecting with my energy, if you don't connect with me, it's okay. You can leave. I'm not going to force you to do that, but I'm not going to disturb my peace on, on and peace on my channel i'm going to do keep doing what i want to do that's my uh, definite personality is and i'm not going to tolerate any abusive or any you know ill manner behavior on my channel uh, even toward disrespect to myself i'm not going to say it i'm sorry i'm not going to accept it i'm not that type of readers that i'm going to be very like sweet to you and give you these things no i'm going to be very straightforward you like it you don't like me 
If you don't like me, don't follow me. Don't watch my readings. It's okay. But if you like me, if you connect with my energy and you connect with my readings, it's okay. Most welcome on my channel because I'm going to still connect with the people from different type of worlds. And I really appreciate and respect and love you all by being with me and standing with me. But if something is not resonating, if you are forcing it or if you're going to, you know, like give me the orders and give me the tell like you do, do, do. This is you are doing wrong. Sorry. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm very self-aware of what I'm doing. But maybe you are not on that level. So please go and grow up um, and change your perspective. Or when you are shifting, then definitely come here. Most welcome. Okay, I'm not, it's not a trolling. It's not a hate. I'm just clearing my concept here. That how I do the readings, how I predict the things, and how I connect with the energies. This is the energies. It can be anything. It can be connect with anyone. I don't care wherever you are from the world or whatever your gender is. If you're connecting with the energies, it's for you. If it's not, then leave it. It's okay. You can definitely go out and there's a definitely most talented people out there that you can connect with them. Okay. So yeah, um, there's the three groups. Um, I know people definitely going to still going to bash and hate on me on because I just talk about a lot of things because still I don't care. This is my channel. Sorry. I'm going to say what I want to say. It. Number one is this uh, butterfly group. Number two is this opal group. Number three is this beautiful green feather group. So I'm going to meet you on your reading. Let's start the reading again. It's a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given below in my description box. You can reach out to me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikToks. Links are also given below. And um, again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. I will really appreciate it. Love you all. Let's go. Hello group number one, welcome. If you choose this beautiful butterfly, maybe you're seeing a lot of butterflies. Butterflies definitely is the symbol or sign of transformation. We will see from this tarot what's happening for you uh, in this month. King of Pentacles, ooh, that's really beautiful. You guys could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or dealing with it. Okay, so definitely it's King of Pentacles. We know that, what is this all about? It's all about money, it's all about finances. It's, it's something, wow, something big, big shifts happening in your career. Big shifts are happening in your money and finances. I can see that. So let me pull more um, tarot to see. And then we will see some oracles card here too. So that's your theme here. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So I'm seeing that there is definitely some type of a stability here. You could be... Um, some of you I'm feeling like you could be getting promoted or... Um, some type of a position that you're getting. You could be also getting a stable job or some type of a money or income coming, more money and income coming in your business or finances. I can see that. There's also some type of investment that you're doing. You could be also purchasing something. Um, you know, this could be also like, this could be your senior or your bosses uh, or any, anyone who is your you know senior or authority figure. Um, you're, you know, you could be working under this person. So they may be going to definitely appreciate you, your work or something. You're going to acknowledge by them, okay, about your work or something. This is also talking about meeting with someone very special, like let's say a um, very important person. This person could be already stable, like businessman or woman that you're meeting this month. You could be also getting into a business partnership with someone. But also, if it's, say, in a romantic sense, it's definitely someone could be uh, already stable, independent. They could be a businessman or woman. They have a stable money, stable income. They're well off. They're wealthy. They could be coming from wealth or they have a belt. Okay, wealth. Let's see now more. Uh, what you got? Okay, we have the magician. Wow. Wow. We also have the lovers. Okay, I'm not even surprised here because we got that. And we have the strength. Look at this major arcana in your reading. We got the four card. By the way, this is a holy spectrum tarot deck if you're into it because I love this deck. I love that. It's not a shootout, but <laughs> yeah, I think I love that. Because I love, love the colors. I love the arts. That's the Pisces in me. Um, colorful things. Colorful arts. So, yeah. Okay. So, there's... You could be dealing with Leo, Gemini. Definitely Gemini. Could be Virgo. And we also have our sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be you too. And I saw the strength and magician. You have the infinitive symbol going on here. Look at this. Infinitive symbol. So some of you, let me tell you, you are manifesting something big because we're already into Aries season. This new moon is already happening in Aries. And I told you that there's a big shift happening in your career, in your finances, and also in your love life. There's a big, 
there's some type of a big thing that you're about to achieve or about to manifest with the magician here and that's bringing you the love of your life let's say some of you you're single here because you're not going to be single i can see that with the magician you're single with the strength card you're really holding back yourself your compassion your love for the right person the love of your life let's say you're waiting for your husband you're waiting for your wife you're waiting for your life partner you're waiting for your soulmate a twin because you're not you don't want to waste your time on just people you're waiting for someone special so that's what you're manifesting and I think that this is a sign for you that universe is telling you the person that you're manifesting is also manifesting you. So either you already know them so you could be coming into union with this person with the lovers here. Could be in a Gemini season because I'm seeing a lot of Gemini. So it could be end of the April or May. It's very important for you or let's say end of May or June. Yeah, April, May, June is very important. These th next three months are very important for you. Some of you are the month of August is important because I see that you're going to, there's something happening in the month of August for you. You could be also, look, I told you, could be coming into business partnership with someone that is going to bring you a lot of success. And the people who are already in a relationship, if you're dating or if you're already married, because I can see that you could be starting something with your husband or wife. Like you could be setting or, you know, you have intentions to do something with your partner. You are putting some type of an investment with your partner. Either it's, it's romantic or it could be any business partner. Like def definitely some type of a, um, like you're doing something, you're creating something, you're investing in something. And you're definitely doing with your lover, your partner, or let's say business partner. Um, but if you're single here, I can see that there's someone coming into your life. It's like your other half. And this is a very long lasting connection you're manifesting. You're definitely manifesting your soulmate. But if you already know them, they're coming into union. You are coming into union with this person. You're giving this compassion to yourself. You're with a magician and strength. You're definitely loving yourself. You, you have done your work. I think um, you already know what, what, you, what you want. You're really self-aware that what are you manifesting and you're, man you're going to manifest this person or this, uh, this partnership, whatever it is. Either it's in the business partnership or it's romantic or it could be even platonic for some of you. Let's see what's happening more for you. Some of you, I feel like with this infinity symbol talking about you have been dealing with this person for a long time. Like it's an in and out. It's like it's a loop, like never ending story. But even though if you're going to meet this person first time, you're going to feel like you know this person from years. Like let's say from centuries, that type of uh, soul recognition happening, okay? When you will meet this person, because I think this is your soulmate. This is your divine counterpart. This is your other half. Yeah, we have authenticity. We also have uh, live life for you, not the audience in your head. So here you go. So a lot of you, you are, that's what April is bringing you. Like being authentic to yourself, being authentic to, uh, and embracing who you really are, doesn't matter. Wherever you live, whatever you are doing, either in a company, in a workplace, or even in a living situation, you need to embrace yourself who you really are. That's what you're doing. And when you definitely, with the strength and magician, you know and self-aware, and, and you, you are self-aware and you understand what you're looking for, what you're manifesting, you're going to get it. So a lot of you, it's like it's time to be authentic. It's time to embrace who you really are. It's time to embrace your gifts. It's, em it's time to embrace and listen to your guides because they're guiding you to do something. There's also like this energy is coming with the strength. We know that there's a human and there's an animal relationship. But, um, and this looks like a, I don't know, it's a tiger or bear. It's something big here. It's a dog. I don't know. It's something big. Okay. So, and we also have the animals here. Look at this animal. So something connected with the animals or animal spirit. Um, and I'm also seeing that um, you could be manifesting someone. Uh, this could be in you too. Like you have a leadership qualities in you. So you're becoming the leader of your own life. You could be starting your own business. You could be becoming a CEO, entrepreneur, businessman or woman. Just do it. What are you thinking about it? This is the time. Do whatever it's like you want to create in your life. Okay. Now let's see more here. Um, What's happening for group number one? Because already we are have the time. Let's see what's what's happening for you in this month more. You could be also mirroring someone. Some of you, I think you did not met this person yet, but whatever you are manifesting, that person is also searching and looking for you. But you need to embrace your authenticity, who you be, who you really are, and do whatever you are uh, is like are mean to do it. Okay. You could be also something that you're going to um, aware or uh, let's say 
like in this month you're also going to find out about your skills about talent something yeah your hidden talent like you already know it but you always like it's like suppressed it you're always like um, being free, being afraid to show your true self, being authentic yourself because you feel people are going to judge you. Some of you, this could be same gender sex relationship here. Maybe that's why. But it's coming. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like you are hiding something behind the doors. You are hiding some your true self, your true talent, your true skills behind the scene. But your universe, your own power is in you. It's, it's like your own intuitions, your gut feelings in you telling you that do it. This is the time. Be authentic with yourself. You cannot, you know, shut this, this voice in you. You cannot close the door on yourself. This is the time to embrace what you're, um, you know, hiding. So either it's your true self, either it's about your business, your job, whatever you want to do it, but you have been like, always like, okay, I will do it whenever I have time. No, this is the time. Create it. Do it. Because you have been, it's like guided here, divinely guided here, like spirit is telling you. Maybe that's where you're going to meet your business partner or lover. I don't know. But we also have, um, there is someone who is going to, there is someone who is going to find this courage and strength to open up to you. Because I'm seeing there is someone who's opening up to you. It's a fine, it's like this, this is a risk for this person. You're mirroring each other. You like them, they like you. You could be also connected with this person in a spirit world. Let's say in a F5D world, astro dream or astro travel. You can feel it, you can sense it. This person is out there. Or let's say you already feel it. This person is, is like into you or manifesting you. So this person going to find this courage and strength in this month maybe going to tell you how do they feel. There's someone is definitely opening up to you. But it's the biggest courage and strength for this person to speak up and be authentic with you because there's someone who want to show you who they really are or maybe this is you so let's see more what's what's happening for you in this month we have the golden mirror um narcissist love bombing self-absorbed one-sided okay so some of you um yeah this could be someone coming back okay let's see that this person was only focused on on themselves. This person could be a workaholic. Let's say this person was are somehow greedy or selfish, or they were only thinking about themselves. But by meeting you, you really awaken something in this person. They really want to have a relationship now, or let's say a friendship now. Because this person was a loner. I'm hearing lone wolf for something. Because we have an animal and human connection. Again, that's my mind is going uh, again and again. So there's a sign here for you. So you really bring this animal into a human like this person was just like a robot or living like an animal or something like being selfish narcissist they they were definitely self-absorbed or let's say they thought that they are the king of the kingdom with the king of pentacles here this person could have a lot of wealth or money or they could be workaholic like they are always looking for money or looking for opportunities or something but there's something about you meeting you or, or when you will meet this person, let's say, that's what I'm telling you. Because that's what you are going to see. It's like you, you show this person a mirror. Again, there's something mirror, mirror energy here. You show this person a mirror. You show this person that narcissistic thing. You show this person like what is wrong in you. And, and you show this person compassion with the strength here. So there's something about you like this person want to change. They want to open up to you. They want to be authentic with you. Because they feel like you are authentic. So if you are going to be authentic, obviously you are going to attract authentic people. Otherwise, you're going to attract narcissistic, narcissist or some type of a love bomber, you know. Be careful from the love bombing they're telling you. So this could be also like someone that you had a one-sided relationship with and that person coming back to you like they want to try. But be careful from the love bombing. Definitely, I hope that you have this knowledge now. Maybe you hold back your feelings from this person, even though you know this is your soulmate or twin. But you just um, are divine counterpart. You just you just hold back because this person was definitely not a good for you, not healthy for you with this narcissist energy here. So this person is definitely awakening to this. They want to open up. They want to. They want to. They want to be yeah the runner i cannot even surprise we also have a fear of intimacy running away um we have intensity intensity and letting go turmoil and feeling this could be you 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 run away from this person you could be a runner you could have this tendency if you're single watching this video or let's say you have this tendency even not single you could be in a relationship that you are a runner you have a fear of intimacy and attachment 
And there is someone who is going to show you mirror like it's okay to open up to me. It's okay to be authentic with me. Maybe this is about you. So or maybe it's, it's about both of you because you're, you're going to mirror each other. You both have the this runner and chaser dynamic here. You both have these tendencies to, you know, attract people who are narcissist or one-sided. You both have a past. So you both have this tendency to have like fear of intimacy or attachment or let's say intense connection. I think you already know who this person is uh, and they want to open up to you because now they're realizing what they did wrong, where they gone wrong with you with this infinity symbol because it's something that it's not un it's unbreakable bond between you and this person. So this is like a soulmate, a twin or divine counterpart. Someone could be from your past life. But let's say if you are going to meet this person, you're totally single, you have no one. When you will meet this person, let me tell you, this person is going to trigger something in you. You're going to show that this person is going to show you mirror. So you have to be authentic yourself and tell this person how, how it is. But I mostly feel this is them. There's someone who's coming back to you who are showing like they're going through this. Some of you, I feel like this is still, it's like you're manifesting them or they're manifesting you. Like they're still not opening up in the month of April because I can I can see that it's happening maybe in May or June or July or till even August. They're going to open up. They're going to come towards you because they're still maybe in the denial and running away from this relationship. They are afraid because afraid of being authentic with you, especially if this person could be coming from a wealth, wealth or they have a boss. They could be a leader. They could have a position. They could have authority. Yeah, this is someone who's powerful. But it's, it's look like you both are mirroring or manifesting each other. doesn't matter. You know them. Yeah, the runner and chaser. We know that the runner and chaser dynamic is happening in soulmate and twin flame connection. Mostly in twin flames, obviously. But could be on a high level of soulmate. Yeah, we have a fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependencies. That's what it is. One is a runner, one is a chaser. So if you are the chaser toward this person, now you're becoming runner. You don't want to deal with this person. You're running away and they are chasing you. So I think that's the dynamic here. But if this could be also someone, okay, that you're going to meet, so they're going to trigger something in you. Are you triggered something in this person? Yeah, look at this. We have, I, I was feeling it as teddy, teddy bear here. Look at this. And there was also, I feel like it's a teddy bear. Something with the animal here. Interesting, uh, interested in you. Blooming romance, flirting, want to date. Yeah, this could be someone that uh, you trigger something in this person or you never dated this person. So they want to open up to you. They want to be authentic with you because they are interested in you. There could be an age gap here between you and this person. This person maybe also sees in you that you're very authentic. You're different. You're not afraid to be who you are. So I think you really need to be uh, embracing who you really are. This is, does not matter like about love, but you also need to embrace yourself who you really are. Because that's how you're going to attract love or manifest love in your life. This person is going to see you in that way. So either it's, it's someone that you're manifesting or you already know them. So it's like they're interested in you, but they always have this afraid, like they have a fear of opening up. But now they're going to do it because they're going to flirt with you. They want to date you. They want to get to know you. This person could be very like a teddy bear. They maybe come off like very strong or let's say very... Um, Let's say very tough on the outside, but inside this person is a teddy bear. And if, if I'm talking about this person and you're like, wow, this is me. So it's mean definitely you're mirroring this person. You're manifesting your soulmate, the, the love of your life here. Okay, let's see anything else happening in your career or something. Uh, I told you already business partnership or something going on here. Let's see more happening. What's happening for you in the month of um, April? Then I will move towards group number two. Yeah, we have the wealthy man coming, okay? Number 13 could be important within 13 days or maybe weeks. Some of you, this person's maybe uh, date of birth is 13 or something. We also have sudden wealth, 11. Yeah, 11, 11, 1, 1, divine counterpart. But you are also manifesting a lot of money and abundance in your life. You could be becoming a wealthy man or woman. You could be becoming a strong and that's how you're going to attract a divine counterpart. But I believe this is a wealthy man who maybe have eyes on you or maybe already interested in you and they're going to open up because they feel you're authentic. They can trust you. Now, you could be also seeing triple seven or one, one number a lot. You can also expect sudden wealth. I told you more money or income coming. You may be going to introduce something. Wow, great fortune, 26. This person age could be 26, 31, um, 37, I'm hearing. Could be 39. Yeah. So we have a great fortune coming towards you. Look, I'm going to show you. We have a community and marriage. Yeah. This is someone that you're going to get married with. So you could be definitely manifesting your divine counterpart, your husband, your soulmate. 
uh, the love of your life, you're also going to get recognized in your community by your work or being with this person. You both are going to do something together. We also have a marriage, so yeah, this is definitely happening. You're definitely manifesting your husband or wife. And this person is coming. Some of you, this could be literally a proposal coming from this person. This person wants to open up to you. They have a definitely marriage on their mind. They want to they wanna settle down. They want to be serious. Um, they may be um, always looking for, you know, a right partner. So they feel like they can trust you. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Be authentic with yourself. Be authentic who you are. And embrace who you really are. Don't try to fit in. And that's what this person is going to be, you know, interested in you. They feel like you're, you're different and you, have, you, you are authentic. You're genuine. That's going to attract this person. And, and obviously, people are going to hate it because this person already is powerful. They are very powerful. They're very, um, yeah, I think being with this person is like shift everything in your life. Everything is going to change in your life. The closing the chapter is like ended. Endings are new beginnings. So either this is someone coming back or you are ending your all chapters and starting who you really are going to manifest this person, I think. Yeah, there's also a big shift coming in your money. A lot of money coming towards you. So that's your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hello, group number two. Welcome. If you choose this opal crystal. I love this uh, crystal. I love the opal. So let's see what is the pile for you. What's happening for you in the month of April. What predictions and messages for you. So we have the page of wands. If, you, if you're curious about this deck, this is a holy spectrum of tarot. Tarot of um, Holy Spectrum. I love this. This is my new deck. Page of Wands. Okay. Um, wow. Fire sign. I don't know why. I'm feeling you're getting a good news or message. You're receiving a, some type of a good news. There's a message coming from maybe a younger fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, yes. It's something exciting. It's something good news. It's something uh, you're receiving a message. Now let's see what is this more about it. You could be a fire sign, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be in your 20s, 30s, or maybe more than that. Uh, you could be dealing with someone who is younger than you, someone who is definitely, okay, I already, yeah, okay, we have the Empress, wow, ooh, oh, baby. We also have the King of Swords, the truth coming. Look at this, I'm going to show you. In this King of Swords, we have the truth. So this person is going to send you a message. Someone wants to speak up their truth. We have the Hierophant. Ah! Where are we going? Look at this. It's a mirroring. Wow, Hierophant. What is this all about? Let's see. Oh, wow, I'm interested. Wow, this is something interesting. Okay, listen to me what I'm saying now. Some of you... Yeah, there is definitely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but does not have to be. We also have a fire. We have a especially Taurus energy here. This person have a heavy Taurus placements in their chart. Okay, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, wherever it is. We also have Libra energy very strong. So this person could have a strongly Taurus and Libra placements. This is a very giving me Empress energy vibe. But this person seeing you in this way. Okay, let's say. Um... This person is going to send you a message. There is someone who has a message for you. There is someone who is going to call you, text you with the King of Swords. And this is, this is like a message to me. I was picking up here. There is a message. There is an action. This person is going to speak up like they were holding the truth to their chest. So this is someone who was not telling you about the truth. Or they have been hiding this truth for a long time. There is also something coming with the music here. So something with the music. Something with the speaking up. I am also seeing DJ club parties something so there's someone this person may be going to send you a message in in let's say in a musical way a musical note singing something that uh, i don't know it's a it could be a romantic message like this person going to maybe going to send you a wise notes or wise message because i'm seeing that something that they're gonna say it with their words but maybe by singing by dedicating something to you so it's definitely a good news for you so that's what I'm feeling here, okay? So some of you, this could be exciting news about like if you already had some type of a, let's say, exam or like, let's say some type of a test or performance. So you are going to be selected here. So it's a good news for you. If you have any type of audition, yes, go for it. Because I think there's something that you're excited about it. And these people are authorities or people that who are sitting there, like let's say judge or some type of um, authorities, okay? They're going to approve it. This could be um, some of you, it's like 
um, about your career here like someone definitely sees you as the empress energy they feel like you're very creative you're very abundant you have a lot of talent you have a skill you could be um, looking very beautiful you could be very attractive person does not have to be um, like not in sense like I'm not saying that maybe you think that you're not but this person is seeing you this person is going to offer you something okay you could be also into the business of let's say entertainment singing dancing modeling uh, you could be a content creator so there's something you're definitely doing it and this person is definitely has eyes on you this person likes you admires you maybe admires your beauty um, this person want to offer you something they're going to give you some I'm, I'm seeing the seal the deal so there's definitely there's some type of a big deal coming from this person they see something in you and they want to hire you in their own institute in their company in their team because i'm seeing the look at this there's definitely it's a big opportunity for you and for some of you this could be a married man let's say a married woman interested in you or are interested in you in in the in the sense like they're going to bring you some offer they want to work with you it's like a team work here there's definitely a lot of different type of people there in that institute company or team so this person wants to add you to in their company or team it's a big news it's something big um you are also going to be selected in some type of an institute so it's like a big dream or wish coming true for you because it's, a, it's definitely something good news for you it's something very exciting you could be signing a contract a deal with someone or something this could be an internship okay um, whatever you're trying to plan it, I think you will go ahead because Page of Wands talk about it's like you already had this excitement, passion. You're like nervous, but at the same time excited. You could be going on an adventure because I'm also seeing cherry blossom here. So something with this cherry blossom area or places um, is definitely coming in my mind. It's like a Korea or Japan right now, but there could be a cherry blossom. I don't know, different worlds in the different places. So there's something here, okay, like a cherry blossom. And we are already entering into the spring season and April. So there's something, it's, it's like all the dots are connected here. You could be mirroring this person. You already had an idea who this person is. This person could be very well-known, well-respected in their community, in their workplace. They are the boss. They are the boss. They are the leader with the king of swords and the empress. I think this is someone definitely something to do with um, business partnership or it could be romantic partnership. Like this person is interested in you. They want to take you out. But they could be already married or you could be married because this could be someone who's already married with the king of swords and the empress like uh, empress and the hierophant they already um had person in their life now another thing i'm picking up this person can also wanna you know wanna date you wanna ask you out we will see that the more oracles will like card like what will happen but i feel like this this person maybe want to propose you for some of you this is like a, also if you believe in a traditional way this could be a proportional uh, proposal coming in your house Okay, someone is bringing this proposal to you of this person. Yeah, that could be a possibility. A woman or man could be bringing this proposal. Or there is someone in between going to introduce you to this person. That's, that's maybe a possibility, I'm feeling. Um, yeah, there's a proposal coming. Either this is someone who is interested in you and they want to date you. They want to ask you out. Uh, they want to get to know you. But there could be a chance here like this person already may be separated, divorced, married, um, or let's say you could be a broken, you know, like let's say you could be a divorced, okay, you could be separated, you have kids or this person has kids, I don't know. But there is definitely some type of energy is coming up, so I have to say it. And others of you, this person is already married, okay? So, but they may be interested in you, they want to date you, they want to get to know you. Uh, you could be already dealing with a married man, so this is that person who's going to send you a message or call or text you. Our woman okay uh, another story here is that because I'm seeing that with the hierophant here it's like mirroring each other so this person definitely sees you as the mirror they think that you are the good our best choice for their team let's say or institute whatever they're looking for it's like you set in that criteria that they're looking for either it's romantic partnership or it's a business like they want to offer you something you set that role you do like this person <laughs> how to say it i hope you understand what i'm talking about like this person already with the king of swords is like this is a logical person this is a genius smart person this is someone who is definitely could be on a higher position authority power uh, this person just say the things they're very blunt they don't hide things right they're going to be very straightforward and i feel like this much could be a far, very straightforward even they're going to propose you directly or they're going to ask you directly or they're going to give you this proposal like you have to say yes and no something like that that's the offer coming your way because they feel like you fit in that criteria that they are looking for. 
that they're looking for that role um so if you i told you if you have some type of um you know interview test exam trial or let's say um audition you will be passed because you fit in that role but this could be i'm talking about a lot of role here so maybe this person want to give you some type of a role here let's say in a drama in a movie theater even a music video because i'm seeing that because there's a music here wow this is a big offer coming i'm telling you there's there's a lot of a lot of things here um okay let's see what's here we have authenticity this came up in the pile one uh, live life for you not the audience in your head and we also have a listen people start to heal the moment they feel heard so okay so some of you this person maybe want to tell you something you need to listen to it before you judge this person before you judge this person intentions i think you need to be authentic to this person be real whatever you want to do it whatever you need it just tell this person because they're going to like okay we will do it don't hide it don't try to fit in so you could be very different and unique and authentic and that's why this person like it uh you could be aquarius by the way our our capricorn placements you have you could be a scorpio we also have a listen so i think maybe this person want to tell you something i'm also seeing this person's friend is going to reach out to you if there is some type of a clash misunderstanding happening this person wants to be authentic with you they want you to listen to them because this person is holding the truth here so maybe there's something happened between you and this person some type of a i i'm hearing clash argument misunderstanding uh, a judgment you know you maybe judge this person or they judge you or something so i think you need to listen to them we also have bottom of the deck feelings so yeah this could be someone who wants to tell you about their feelings you need to listen to it look at this how how she, she's hand, you know you need to listen to your heart the star here star aquarius yes yeah, so it's about your wish coming true this is like a big news for you so listen to your feelings listen to your heart when this person going to reach out to you or for some of you this is talking about like big offer maybe you never thought that you're going to do this so but they're saying listen to your heart because you always wanted this so listen to it be authentic and do it because this person already sees something in you this person saw that talent in you this person sees something in you that's why they're offering you you may be going to reach out to maybe a friend or you need to discuss something with your close friend or there is a friend also could be coming to back to you there's someone who's coming coming to you is like they want to be authentic with you but you need to listen to them maybe they want to clear something there's someone who wants to tell you the truth here but they're holding i'm feeling the way this king of swords is like holding this truth to their chest it's like you don't know it they they have been like thinking for a long time and they're going to say it it's coming it's happening let's see more or let's say if you were a psychic he healer intuitive tarot reader light worker you guys could be a teachers you guys be into this like i think um there's someone who want to tell you something so you need to listen to it or you could be getting into this type of a business here this person maybe want to give you this type of a role so you need to listen to i don't know there's something like you are fit in some type of a role here they want to tell you something or they want to discuss something with you because they feel like they can tell you they can trust you let's see more we have not enough <sighs> lacking confidence self sabotage ego or fear frustration yeah this is that person this person could be, have a blue eyes he or she whoever it is yeah this is someone definitely they they don't have a confident maybe in the past so they self sabotage this connection or friendship they could be frustrated now because they need to tell you before it's too late uh that you need to listen to them this could be also someone that you feel like you're not good enough for them or if this person is coming towards you let me tell you if this person is coming in a romantic way or business partnership they see something in you okay bitches they see something in you with the empress okay you are the empress here doesn't matter you're male or female this person sees in you so don't sabotage this offer don't think like oh my god no 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 i don't deserve it no no I, i'm not capable of it no i cannot do it you can do it you can do it listen to your heart okay listen to your own feelings listen to your heart if you want to accept it or not if you want to do it or not listen to it okay listen they're saying just listen not enough yeah so either this is you you going to self sabotage you are going to like oh my god i'm too this person is too too much for me too good to be true for, for me or let's say this offer is too good to be true for me i don't know how can i how can i handle it i know i don't know i don't know no you can don't get panic they're saying don't get panic don't be frustrated 
and stop you know being your and also could be do not self sabotage this connection because your ego or fears are coming in the way this could be also someone that their ego and fear in the way and they self sabotage this connection but they have to tell you the truth you need to listen to them they want to tell you something yeah death here okay yeah yeah scorpio <laughs> Uh, we have the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform. What's dead is dead. So some of you, this could be a new person entering in your life. And if you're stuck on someone, do not, or maybe you have experience in the past to deal with, you know, like, let's say, um, self-sabotager, you have to deal and tendency with attract people who are emotionally unavailable, who are not worthy of you, who never listen to you, who never listen to your feelings. They never take care of you. This person is different, I'm telling you. And that's why you're going to be like, oh my God, no, 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 I don't think so. There's something wrong. This person wants me. No, no, no. This person is very honest. They're very straightforward. They're going to tell you what it is. Okay. Some of you, this person could be the same person coming back. Now, don't confuse it. Some of you, it's over. It's finished. You're not going to go back to that. This is a new person that's going to send you a message. I want to get to know you, want to get along with you. You're going to build something beautiful with this person, but listen to your heart. And others of you, this is the same person will come, but with a big transformation. So you need to listen to them at least. Do not think like, oh my God, it's over. No, no, no. So it's mean your ego is fear is still sabotaging this connection. They maybe want to tell you something. I, I think there's some something that this person is maybe looking for a closure. If this is someone coming back from the past, they're looking for a closure. This could be a friend too. Like you really need to listen to their side. It's like you only know the, the, the part of the story from your side. You need to listen to their side of the story. That's, that's what I'm, I want to deliver it. I think it's over now. I think you know it now. Separation, yeah. Sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. This is definitely someone from your past. They don't want you to look. They don't want. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to let go. This could be your ex. Okay, let's say your ex. Someone could be you got divorced from. They were. They're wanting to come back. You maybe have a kids with this person because I'm seeing the motherhood here. Or you have a children with this person. Or this person has children. Let's say they could be going through a divorce or separation, but they want to be with you. They want to they wanna tell you something. They, they maybe want to trust, they trust you maybe, something like that. And others of you, this is talking about like, this is someone that you are in separation with or you want a separation. You're like, oh no, I, I want a divorce. I want to end this relationship. So this person wants, don't, don't want to leave this relationship. Or, or let's say you never had a relationship. They are in a separation. They're missing you. Your absence really make them... <sighs> Feel this situation, okay? Your absence, definitely your absence, I think. Now, they really want to be authentic with you. They want to tell you how much they miss you, how much they love you, how much they care for you. This is their unfair ego, pride, um, like, let's say self-sabotaging connection, frustration, or whatever their mental health issues are, that they were, you know, in the way. So they want to know they're very sad and bitter about this, okay? And they, they, they're, they're uncertain about their future without you because they always, you know, think and thought about the future with you. You are the empress here and this person always want to be with you. So I think you need to listen to them. This person could be, um, I, I think they, wanna, they maybe want to meet you somewhere. So there could be an invitation coming from this person, a friend maybe. This could be a friend, lover, partner, ex. There's a lot of things here. But look at this, we have a soulmate. Yes, so a lot of you, this is your soulmate, soul connection. You have a partnership with this person, soul contract. And this is also your life partner. So some of you, this is already your life partner. You already could be in a separation. You're not together. And others of you, this is your soulmate. Going to be your life partner. You're going to get married with this person. You have a soul contract. And this is something coming from a higher sources. So you cannot escape from it. Even though you say it, it's over, it's finished. I don't want to be with this person. They're saying, listen to it. Listen to them. They have something to say or listen to your heart again. <laughs> you may be saying it like, no, I don't mind. You know, ego is saying I'm done. No second chances. I don't want to be there. I don't want to listen to them. But I want to show you again and again this card feelings. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. You still love them. You still have a connection with this person. You still you still have feelings. <sighs> listen. Yeah, I think this person wants you. They, they, um, they're going crazy without you. You're going to receive the message. So maybe don't self-sabotage it, please. And don't think like you're too good. This person is too good to be true for you. They're good enough. You are not good enough. No. 
don't do this you are soulmates your partners your souls are connected with each other doesn't matter on the surface level this person is very attractive charming power authority or maybe you are attractive you're powerful i don't know there could be an age gap here between you and this person but there's someone has a it's like a high status i'm feeling it okay someone could be very attractive okay it does not have to be high status they could be very attractive and charming very beautiful could be from a different culture too for some of you yeah we have the distance horizon 36 so this person could be from a different country or different place you're going to travel to see this person or you may be traveling somewhere this person may be travel to want to see you or meet you some of you this could be a business or big education offer coming are you selected here you're going to travel somewhere i told you you're going to travel there it's like a big news a good news for you this could be a sagittarius person we have a despair 32 yeah this person is missing you thinking about you they're feeling the lost here this person need you and they feel like oh, they can trust you yeah we have the concern 33 so 30 plus this person's age could be or your age could be yeah there's a concern here so this person could be concerned about you know the families the culture the religion they could be concerned about maybe other people there's something concerned here they may be concerned if you're going to listen to them or not you're going to hear them out or not because they want to tell you something this person definitely tired on labor so you could be um this person could be working very hard to get your attention to be one with you um to tell you something dedication yeah i think this could be someone who is going through some type of a um you know separation divorce um something to with the law here this could be also someone who working under some type of a law that they cannot break the law because it is going to like everything is going to be finished for them that could be also that's why they're concerned about it because they cannot break the rule they cannot break the law this could be also something that they cannot do something without their culture so it's like it's something taboo in their culture or religion i don't know there's a lot of things happening in this pile um and we also have uh, this could be you you are going through a divorce and this person really concerned about it or you are concerned about that we have a toil and labor some of you this is a hard work going to pay off about your test exam admission or something that you're starting a new course uh, somewhere you're going okay uh, finally your hard work is going to pay off here look we have the lovers here bottom of the deck yes so some of you this is your lover soulmate the love of your life you're going to see the maturity in this person now this person is a mature they're mature okay they're mature now they learned the lesson they're matured up now they're different now so you need to listen to them you need to maybe at least listen to them that's what they're saying. But others of you, this could be literally a mature person or man coming into your life. Want to offer you something in a love way, a romantic way, a partnership, let's say. Okay, so that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you choose this beautiful green um, feather. Let's see what's happening for you in the month of April. What you can expect. So we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. So some type of a celebration here that you're going to receive some type of a, I don't know, party. There's an event here, celebration here. I think there's a lot of people there. So it's not, um, yeah, there's something could be a good news in your family. It could be a good news in your house. About your house, like some type of a maybe um, renovation, purchasing a house, decorating the house. There's also some type of a get together in your house. Or, or maybe with your close ones, like your family, you know, get together with your family. I'm hearing family dinner, a family meeting, okay? You could be also going to meet someone's family, let's say, uh, invitation, okay, of some, yeah, some type of a party and event here. But also could be meeting the um, family of your girlfriend, boyfriend, um, or someone is wanting to invite you somewhere, okay, and you will be there. There's an invitation here. But this is like a happy happily ever after ten of cups is like wow so you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio or you are a scorpio oh my god king of cups a lot of emotions a lot of feelings what's happening someone is going to fill your cup here because i'm seeing king of cup yeah someone is going to fill your cup you really make this person happy or you are about to be happy here a lot, like a lot. Your, your cup is about to be filled. I, I want to say it again and again. Your cup is about to be filled here with the Ten of Cups and King of Cups. It's like um, you're about to meet your soulmate, your life partner maybe for some of you with the Ten of Cups and King of Cups. You could be about to meet the love of your life here. 
this is the ten of cups but what i am seeing look at this in this it's like it's a pentacle so this could be a, someone new here some type of a solid or new offer coming towards you uh some of you this could be a business offer coming or job offer that you're going to be fulfilled and happy and satisfied because you're gonna get enough money and okay i'm gonna show you bottom of the deck knight of Pent knight of wands yeah okay so you maybe have options between um could be two people between a fire sign aries leo sagittarius and a water sign pisces cancer scorpio someone is taking action oh my goodness queen of pentacles if you are curious about this deck this is the tarot of um holy spectrum love the deck love the art love the colors okay so wow i don't know what's happening bottom of the deck we have the lovers yeah you may i'm, I'm feeling i'm feeling you have a choice you have a choice between lovers okay but this could be also coming into union with your lover you're about to meet someone could be some of you you could be about to meeting someone you could be falling in love with someone or there is someone who's I don't think so this is you you are sitting uh, especially if you're a female or feminine energy watching this video with the queen of pentacles you are doing you and there is someone coming towards you this person is taking action towards you and this is a very masculine energy this is definitely king of cups and knight of wands either you have options between two lovers so you're gonna choose who you want to be with uh or uh, let's say this could be the same person is coming with the action and not only action this person wants to date you want to get to know you want to maybe marry you because this person definitely seeing you husband material or wifey material with the queen of pentacles you're stable uh, you could be a taurus virgo capricorn placements in your chart anywhere okay um or you could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but i feel like this is them water and fire is coming towards you this person could have a mixture of the chart like fire, water, earth, okay? Uh, definitely you have a choice between two people, I think, with the lovers here. So who are you going to choose? I think they both want to be with you. They both, are in, they both love you, I'm hearing from the spirit. They both are in love or they both want to be in love with you. It's like, yeah, with this energy here, it's like want to open up to you. They feel like they can trust you. They see you, this queen of pentacles, very nurturing, very loving, grounding, stable person. You could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placements, definitely. This person could be born into a Sagittarius. Um, why am I saying Sagittarius? They could be a Sagittarius, okay. They could be um, born into a horse here of Chinese. Or it could be dog. Yeah, there's definitely birds here and there's an elk going on here. Um, yeah, you're going to hear the news from this person. It's going to send you a message, a call maybe. Some of you, this is an offer coming. Okay, someone wants to work with you. With the lovers here, I think I should take it. Yeah, okay, temperance. Um, I did not mean to, you know, cut the deck like this, but it is temperance, yeah. So coming into union with your soulmate, with the lovers and the temperance. Your soulmates. For some of you, this is someone that you have no idea. They are in love with you. But you can, you're going to come into union with this person. You're going to fall for them. You're going to like them. Yeah, ace of wands, they could be a new person and a page of cup. Yeah, this is something exciting news coming your way. Look at this ace of wands. There's a spark. There's a passion. So if you're feeling your love life's bored, no, it's not going to get bored because your love life is about, I'm feeling again, there's someone who wants to fill the cup, your cup. <laughs> it's not like you're not fulfilled. Like they want to date you. They want to get to know you. It's like they, you make them happy. You make them excited. You make their life spark. There's a spark here in you. You could be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces. Wow, it's really beautiful. There's also some type of a news coming your way that you're going to be very excited. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I'm just, I cannot even um, believe it. This is happening to me. So, yeah, it could be some type of an offer coming um, that you're going to work with. It's some type of a business offer. You're going to get some type of invitation there, party, event, celebration there. Um, you're going to, you know, invite it somewhere. You maybe if you, if you are going on to some type of an event, party or festival, you're going to maybe bump into this person there. And this is going to be love at first sight or spark between you and this person. Or there is someone who is interested in you. They just saw you and they're like, wow, you are the perfect fit for them if they're looking for something. So, so they're going to offer you something. So it could be a creative offer or work offer or something. This person maybe want to, you know, could be a brand offer or some type of an offer, a deal coming. 
Okay, some of you, this could be you also in this month starting some type of a new activities and hobbies. You're looking so good, so good, could be younger than your age. So there's definitely a lot of people are attracted to you, daydreaming about you, especially this person going to take action, I'm feeling. There's definitely message coming and action. You're going to see action from this person's side. Look at the fire. And we know that Ace of Wands, what is this wand is all about, okay? Yeah. So you really turn this person on, on okay? I'm hearing you give them butterflies in the pants. <laughs> oh my God. Spirit is naughty, okay? Or you are naughty, naughty. Or this person is a naughty. I don't know. They have naughty thoughts about you. And we can expect it with the Knight of Wands. But this is just not a Knight of Wands. This person... Okay, so some of you I'm hearing this person is going to... Knight of Wands and King of Cups going to woo you, like sweep you off your feet. You're going to get butterflies and excited. They're going to turn you on, by the way. Some of you, this could be a one night stand happening or you are, yeah, because I'm seeing that you're, you're, you're definitely invited somewhere and you got drunk and wow. And then this happened. Something happening with this person. Yeah, this could be your boyfriend, girlfriend or partner. Like you, you're getting drunk on this, this special event or party or, or some type of a get together. And this person is there. And some of you, I'm hearing this person want to get you drunk. Okay, yeah, they're going to invite you this this place and they're going to get you drunk and they're like, oh, wow, now it's time to go into bedroom. <laughs> oh, my God, why I'm doing this all? I don't know. This is coming. Okay, that's a message. Yeah, with the Knight of Wands and King of Cups, this person could be a player. I'm not going to lie, but you got the player here who wants to be with you with the Queen of Pentacles. They want to try Ten of Cups. You make them happy. You make this player happy. They want to stay. They maybe want to stay with you because this is not a person who stayed with someone, but they want to stay with you. They want to fill your cup. They want to be in love with you. They want to have, maybe have a family with you because they know that you are, you are a family type of a person. You're looking for something stable and serious. You definitely have options. I can see that. You maybe have an option. Could be younger than you, person coming, or could be someone who is same age as you, or could be a little bit older than you. So you have a choice. Or could be this is the same person coming with a new spark and passion. Wow, we have the peace. Okay, but there's a mask here. Could be a Gemini. So let me read the message. Just because some people are fueled by drama does not mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. Yeah, peace. So some of you be careful. This could be the same person coming that to bring you drama in your life with the Knight of Wands because they're a player. This person may be very good with the words and charming. I'm telling you, this is a charmer. They're going to charm you. So I hope that you trust your intuition and do not, you know, fall for this person trap. They could be wearing a mask. Some of you be careful from the love bombing. Okay, I'm telling you, or gaslighting, because this person going to love bomb you. Because this is a knight in shining armor. They're going to they're gonna make you believe that they are your happily ever after. But for some of you, it's a warning because they want to get you drunk and they want to do their business, do their work and move on. Be careful, okay? I'm just warning you. For some of you, this is that story. And others of you, this could be the same person that was in and out and inconsistent in your life. And they're coming again to love bomb you, to make you believe that they're in love with you. They want to be with you. But I hope that you're not going to get involved with this person drama or you will understand okay that who is doing the drama either it's the true love or they're just making it making you believe that it's love they love you uh, i'm also seeing that with this two mask here i told you two options here so you're going to choose who you want to be with who is who is right and who is who is playing the drama so one of uh, one of them option is definitely looking for some fun and pleasure and the other person is serious with the king of cups and ten of cups this is someone who can give you fill your cup who can mature who is emotionally mature stable who believe in family, who believe in marriage, who believe in commitment. So you maybe have a choice. Okay, I'm telling you, now it's up to you. For some of you, this is the same person, the only one person that's always coming into your life, bringing some drama. So they're coming back. I hope you see through this person drama. Or I hope you understand they're not love bombing you. They are changed. Otherwise, it's going to be another cycle with this person. They're saying, know your worth and value. It doesn't matter you're male or female, okay? Know your worth and value. Don't settle for less. So let's see what's more for you. There's also something peace coming towards you. Like you could be from being sad to happy here. I can see that. There's definitely someone is coming to make you happy. Or you will be uh, attending some type of a party or some type of a, uh, you're outgoing. I think you're going somewhere. So it's like, it's a good time for you. This month is definitely good for you. We have a hammer. Yes, someone is coming. Sabotage, rebuild, persistence, working on it, repairing. So someone is coming with the repairing. 
Yeah, it's a repair. It's like they want to fix things with you. Yeah, there's seven, definitely someone coming back. With an, I think this is the Knight of Wands energy. This person wants to fix things with you. They're coming with a passion or desire. Some of you, this could be a rebound here. Like, be careful. Be careful. It's, it should not be a rebound, especially if this person is already married or in a relationship. So they want a rebound with you. Or some type of a pleasure with you or one night stand with you. Because I can see that. It's happening. The spirit is guiding you. That's why you choose this. Okay, do not bring the drama or peace. Maybe do not get involved with this person. Especially if this person is in a third party or in a relationship. Yeah, we have a date. Get back out there, meeting someone new, setting, a, setting on a date, on date online. So some of you, this could be someone that you're meeting online and they're going to ask you out and you're going to meet them. And others of you look at this again, there's something with a drinking coming, drinks, drinks. So they maybe want to get you drunk and, you know, yeah, they want to do something with you. Rebound energy here. Um, so some of you, if you're single watching this video, they're saying this is a great time to go out and have fun. And meet people, especially with the Ten of Cups here. It's time to get together, get along with people. Maybe someone is going to notice you. Are you going to get a spark? You're going to fall for someone. I'm also seeing with this Ace of Wands and Page of Cups coming bottom of the deck, there could be someone who has a crush on you. Like it's it's someone new you just, you just recently met. Could be younger water sign or fire sign. Like someone could be a Pisces. This person maybe have a Pisces placement. placements. Yeah, look at this all red here. This person has a lot of passion and desire for you. They could be lusting over you, to be honest. Like they're very, again, there are something in their pants here. You got them in their pants, okay? So they like uh, have a desire for you. They, they want to have you. They want to taste you, I'm hearing. Some of you. So this is someone who maybe have a crush on you. They're liking you. They like you. Let's keep moving forward. There's someone definitely coming to fix things. Maybe they want to ask you on a date. We also have the sunglasses told you, told you. There's someone who's watching and looking at you. There's a perception and stalking. So this person could be a stalker. Um, maybe if you have an online uh, parent, so this person definitely have a, you know, watching you, keeping the eye on you. And they're going to make a move, I'm telling you. We also have uh, the energy of, you know, someone could be stalking you and they're going to ask you. Could be you're meeting someone online or they're watching you somewhere. Yeah, there's something also this person, maybe perception is changing about you. We have abundance. Look at this money coming. Positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, and blessings. Yeah, okay. So a lot of you, this could be, a, uh, I think that's something that you're going to celebrate with your loved one, with your family, or with you. There's a lot of abundance of money coming. I'm also seeing that there's a people who are watching your money. They're keeping the tabs on your financial thing or profiles. Like, what are you doing? What are you up to? So these people are maybe now taking interest in you because of your money. So be careful. Again, there's something with the drama here. This could be also someone that you help financially maybe. Then again, with a camera, this person could be uh, have a camera. Like they could be a photographer, but also talking about pictures. This person watching your pictures, profiles. Again, with a camera, there's a ring here. There's a sunglasses here. Yeah, this is someone who have been watching you for a long time. And with this perception and perception coming twice, so there's something about this person perception about you has changed. So maybe they have been watching you for a long time and now they want to date you. They want to get close to you. They want to ask you out. And I'm hearing this is going to be a luxurious date. This person maybe invite you somewhere like in a luxurious place because there's something that this person is going to spend money on that. And they may be going to give you a gift here for some of you. This could be also someone who is seeing you as a rebound. So they maybe want to distract them, you know, whatever going on in their life. So they maybe want to spoil you. Be careful again from the love bombing and spoiling. Because that's this is the way of this person maybe wanting to get whatever they want from you. This person may be reminiscing things. making They want to make the memories with you. Or you already made the memories, so they're coming back. Yeah, there's definitely some type of... Um, you could be also receiving a lot of money here. Some type of a success here that you're going to celebrate this month. You're moving forward. I don't know, you're becoming a millionaire or billionaire. Or this person could be a millionaire or a billionaire coming into your life, entering in your life. They're definitely going to spoil you, I'm hearing. But if you have a lot of money, be careful. This person may be after your money and going to love bomb you. Or they already maybe love bombed you. So something, okay, I think, yeah, they are despair. They don't have that. So they maybe want to be in a relationship with you just because of that. Be careful. It's a warning. You can only, uh, you know, trust your own intuition. 
I'm just telling you, we have the community. Yeah, this person could be, uh, or you could be well-known person in the community and they're not. There's also people watching you because you're getting successful. You're getting abundance, maybe in your family or relatives. People are also despair because they don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you be happy. This person and you, yeah, there's definitely some type of a celebration going on in a community. Could be some type of a festival party coming and you will be invited there. Or this person want to invite you there on some type of a party or festival. Or maybe in their family, like they're going to introduce you to their family or something. Yeah, we have a poetry. So someone is definitely being despair watching you. Or someone who's being despair, they don't have money, they don't have abundance. So they're coming towards you. And they're going to love bomb you. They're going to show you interest in you like, I'm going to be with you, but they have their different reasons. We have a great fortune. Yeah, there's definitely wealth coming into your life. Wow, we have the wealthy man. Okay, for some of you, this is a wealthy man, okay? So maybe perception mean here that they thought that you are after their money or you want them for money. Or maybe people want, maybe it's like someone that people want them for money, but there's something about you, their perception changed about you. They feel like you don't need them in that way. So maybe that's why they're going to ask you out for a dating and romance. They're, gonna, they're taking interest in you. Yeah, maybe especially if this person is like wealthy, I think this is a wealthy man or woman entering in your life. Could be a wealthy man or woman, okay? No gender. Uh, or you both could be very well off, independent people. So coming together, you're going to be a power couple in a community. Like people will know both of you. But I mostly feel this is them. Whoever this person is entering in your life, they have a lot of money. They're going to spoil you. They're going to give you a lot of things, luxurious lifestyle that you're going to win. Um, you're going to be happy and excited, I think. But be careful from the drama here because I'm seeing there's a drama involved here with this person. Either they are already in a relationship, there's a third party, or this person have these tendencies of love bombing, in and out, inconsistent, or let's say player type of a person. So make sure that you're not seeing money. You also uh, are looking for something else, okay? With the Knight of Cups and Page of Wands uh, uh, and, and the King of Wands, you maybe have a choice between two people. So you're going to choose because I'm seeing there's someone coming back, but there's also a new person who is interested in you. So you're going to choose who you want to be with and definitely differentiate who is who. Who is uh, like who wants something from you? Who? Who is here to stay and who is here to just play? I hope you understand for some of you. So that's your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye. God bless you.